Yo, Gamebro here, and this is Let's Play Cameo Elements of Power. This will be post commentary, not that it should make a difference to you viewers, but um, just decide this way to make it easier for me just to decide to get all the footage done because there's going to be a lot of editing out. Didn't want to have to edit out the audio too, so um, again, just decide to get the video stuff done first. Then post commentate for this and the three parts afterwards. And for yeah, for these four parts, I'm pretty much just gonna go explain the same areas I have before, pretty much. Although there have, there will be areas in Badland I haven't visited. To pick up three different things: fruits, elixir of Lives and some costumes. Can't you see I'm upset? That last one being the least exciting and um didn't really care for, but you know just want to be a perfectionist. We at least come close to it. Pick up everything I can. Be completionist. So, but if you don't really care about the side stuff, I say skip four parts and then I'll head back to the canon stuff. Well, I mean I guess this is considered canon since um I will obviously have more moves for all my warriors and I will have a little more health but again just skips just skip these these four parts if you really don't care about it <coughs> although you won't get to see them um, Me being able to uh, upgrade my HP, although it won't be a huge difference. Having like difference between having not taking any elixir of life at all and taking all twelve. It's about a little more than t drinking all the dozen. It's a little more than double. So it's not gonna make like etch huge, huge of a difference if you like, skip all the hearts in Zelda and whatnot. So obviously it still will be of help. And hey, um, it does get fucking these fruit does get you more points. Yay! You don't get any achievements out of it. Most achievements you'll get is just pretty much from playing from start to finish, and the rest. Um, I mean, not like the amount of achievements, but how much you'll get out of the achievements. Pretty much the rest of the achievements are playing through hard mode, playing through co-op stuff. I haven't bothered with just yet, and probably will not be showing off. Unless, unless that extra stuff really does change levels drastically, which I doubt. So, um, what am I doing now? Well, basically, some creature lost three pearls, and um, we're going to give some pearls to him. These are huge. They'll be filthy rich. You make a lot of money out of them. Just saying. And this is definitely a pretty tedious side quest. You have to go open up clams. Again, only three of them will have pearls. Gotta really make use of deep blue in this area. And you gotta play some soccer, too. I was not ever much into sports. I was never much of a jockey. Although when I was in grade school, I, I used to enjoy some soccer or what should be called football like it is pretty much every other country. Just found that sport rather enjoyable, but and I was mildly into basketball too, but that was pretty much it for 
be getting into sports. At least those ball games. You just keep on rolling. A little tricky to move it the way you may wish to. Fully strain whatnot. Pretty tricky here. It's probably not an easier way to do it. Unless there is an I'm just not aware of it. And the elemental warriors. But whatever the case is. Roll them on to those starfish. And there should be one more if you didn't see that last one with the same color. And yay, what chests were unbreakable are breakable now. Thanks to this last warrior. And it is pretty fun to use, although send out bombs and such, especially if you upgrade them, they can deal damage towards it. The, um, it can dish it, but it can't take it. But what can you do? So, yes, um, yeah, this part took a... Not gonna lie, this part was a little tedious to, to play through. And even, and a lot more so to edit, so... Yeah, I was not looking forward to it, so it took me a long time to get around to recording it. And it took a long time to put it all together. It's not noticeable now, but later in these four parts, of course, I'm going to split them up. Of course, they'll all be around 15 minutes. Probably a little less. There'll be lots of transitions. Because, you know, I'm all for fancy stuff. Because I'm lazy. No, I just move into the next scene. But I decided to actually take the time, look a little more professional, and have better pacing. Call those replacements? They're tiny. I'm not going to give you a cash reward for these miserable substitutes, but I suppose you can have this. Ungrateful bastard. And those pearls are huge. You can make thousands upon thousands of pounds out of them. I mean, I don't know a lot about jewelry, I, but I know it's it can be damn well expensive, obviously. Like how much is, they should cost, uh, more so, I should say. But I mean, I don't know a lot about jewelry, you know. Rich materials. <clears throat> and also that was fun but it's nice I went into again. the thanks for helping me out and good luck getting your family back went to the wrong hut some female creature will be blocking until you um until you find all them pearls then you will be able to get something in a certain hut That is a little more exciting than a fruit. Yeah, as of now, I haven't picked up much, but but by the time these parts are over, I will picked up like twenty-five of them. Just a pretty slow start. 25 has probably been an exaggeration, but not that much. So, anyways, um. 
Camus flying to the right hut, which again it couldn't enter before, but now it's not an issue. Into the shell. And there it is. Health increase for the win. Got 50,000 points out of it. And, you know, I, I tend to break stuff a lot. Picking up some coins. Even though I'm not going to need them, but just in case I find something more exciting. I've looked through stores multiple times and um, there's nothing else worth picking up. I picked up all the fruit. I picked up all the costumes. I picked up everything that's remotely exciting. Now pretty much all I can get from the stores. And yet yeah, there it shows that I edited out since it switched to the next footage. Just can pretty much pick up big hearts which only cost 10 coins. And an alternate skin. There's only one alternate skin that I would like to actually wear, make use of, but I can't seem to. But the one I really want, I can't seem to find it anywhere. Unless it's actually DLC and I can. Unless little did I know that it was actually DLC. If so, oopsie, I completely forgot to re-download it. You know, I had to start all over with the history of my 360 and whatnot. But I am really sound like a broken record here. I really am. So these lost runes, you can go. You come to these areas, play some mini games, get fruit out of them, and beat your high scores. All pretty fun. You gotta be sure to use the right creatures though. One thing that would have been interesting is if you can use fruit to give Cameo more moves. These are all that she's been able to use since the very first part. You cannot upgrade to make her stronger. Sadly. I mean, yeah, that's where the element of warriors come in. You'll need to keep in but, you know, it'd still be neat and whatnot. These are the rules of the challenge. So, anyway. Time to take care of these things. 40 below. Fahrenheit or Celsius. Or 233 degrees Kelvin. You know, the move will make you dizzy. That's the one where you want to use to care of a bunch of enemies. That is probably the best method. I mean, you can probably use Ash and you'll get pretty close to the same amount. Or Pummel Meat, Weed, and it's a creeper move. But 40 below is. I find to be the best way to kill off dozens of enemies in a short amount of time. I think one of these main games I have played through before, um, on, as I was recording.